I'll pay 10 cents more. What does that mean for months? Maxwell House sure coffee, well. though? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Folgers. <laughs> it's going to be nice to stay warm because it's going to get pretty chilly around here. We've got a little thing that's going to go through, a little trough of low pressure. And tomorrow's going to be one of those days where it looks pretty good out there. It's going to be kind of breezy and temperatures, you know, for this uh. time of year. It's going to be cold. Mm -hmm. But we're not digging out like they are in Buffalo yeah. or even in southern you St. Lawrence what? County. That's it's right. Great perspective. Counting those our pictures. blessings. It's all about perspective. <laughs> Let me show you where we are for temperatures right now, and then we're going to show you what's going on with the snow situation. We're finding temperatures right now in the 20s and the 30s. Right now in Burlington, it is 30 degrees. Plattsburgh at 29. Look at Saranac Lake, a little bit colder than that at 21 degrees, doing a 32 as you head toward Lebanon. Springfield right now is at 30 degrees. So we widen out a little bit. Is there anything? warmer that may come our way? Well, not yet, that's for sure. Off to the west in the 20s, well, Buffalo, I mean, come on, under a blanket of snow, to say the least. 24 degrees Detroit right now in Chicago, it is 25 degrees. Now, I want to give you a heads up here, and nothing has really changed here, although just a little bit of the geography in southern St. Lawrence County, but we're under a lake effect snow warning in the highlighted area right here, also over toward Watertown, and actually a bunch of the counties south of St. Lawrence County. Meanwhile, it's a lake effect snow advisory for parts of Franklin County in northern New York, where we could find anywhere from three to seven inches, but in St. Lawrence County, a little bit closer to 8 to maybe 18 inches. It's all about the lake effect snow bands that have been coming off the Great Lakes in particular. Talking about Lake Ontario here, still just catching a little bit of St. Lawrence County. The forecast here is for this whole thing to kind of shift on down to the south. It's all about a change in the wind direction, more of a well, we're going to go from a southwesterly flow to a westerly flow. And when that happens, it's going to take the whole snow band and it's going to shift it on down to the south. So that's good news for those that are getting a little bit tired of shoveling if you've been doing it the last few days because it's going to go to, um, well, new people. Okay, here's what's going on with Storm Tracker 5000 as we widen out a little bit. We did have some snow showers around here. I saw them at my house. It was all about a little front that was going through, and boy, it triggered them off. It, was, uh, it looked like a snow globe, you know, it's kind of shaken up. Some of the snow totals we have heard about Wanakina. She head on over towards St. Lawrence County. 12 inches. This is new stuff. Cranberry Lake, 10 inches. Governor over in St. Lawrence County, 8 inches. Star Lake, same thing. Owls had a little bit less than that. So we talked about a front that's gone on through, trough of low pressure. We've got another trough that's going to zip on through. Well, when that happens, kind of a reinforcing shot of colder air is going to be here. Again, you're going to notice it during the day tomorrow. It looks like for the most part, tomorrow is going to be dry around here. More clouds first half of the day as compared to the afternoon. So let's break this thing down for you. This is Futurecast. 7 o'clock tonight, we're still looking at this lake effect snow band, but it is shifting to the south. So by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, the outside chance for a couple of snow showers, especially east of Lake Champlain. If you're looking at clouds in the morning, those clouds giving way to a mix of sun and clouds. Into tomorrow night, we'll call it partly cloudy, especially late tomorrow night. And Saturday, becoming a little bit warmer, mix of clouds and sunshine, and just the outside chance for a late day rain or a snow shower, but especially as you head on over to the Adirondacks. So mostly cloudy tonight, maybe the odd snow shower. 20 degrees for a low. It is a little bit breezy out there. Could see gusts to some 25 miles an hour. For tomorrow, increasing sunshine, meaning first thing in the morning, a little cloudy. 27 degrees Burlington, 26 in Plattsburgh. How about just 17 Saranac Lake in Springfield? It will be 27 degrees. So the day in the Champlain Valley is going to break down this way. More clouds in the morning. We're in the 20s. Partly sunny skies by noon and into the afternoon. And temperatures only topping out in the 20s. In fact, right in the Champlain Valley, we'll call it 27 degrees. Saturday, it's a mix of clouds and sunshine up to 35. Watch what happens with these temperatures. 46 chance for showers on Sunday. There are going to be rain showers around on Monday. We're going to be in the 50s that day. 44 degrees, still the chance for a few showers Tuesday. Big travel day coming up Wednesday, looking pretty good. Just the chance for a rain or a snow shower. And for Turkey Day itself, we're going to call the high 37 degrees. And right now, it looks like the day is going to be dry.